Hi guys, this is Oscar from CIS231 and today I'll be showing you how to use DreamSpark to download anything Microsoft sponsored through our school. And I'll also include a short video or short tutorial at the end to show how to burn an ISO file that you downloaded. Okay, so first thing you want to do is open up Internet Explorer or whatever your favorite browser is. Mine tends to be Firefox. So you open it up. Alright, now in Google you want to type CPPCIS and you search that and it should be the first link right here. So you click the first link and that's our CIS department. Now right here on these tabs you should see one that says MSDNAA download. Now I want you to click that and it should bring you to the DreamSpark homepage. Now, most schools have contracts with DreamSpark offering certain software like, you know, Windows, you know, Office, the Office package, Visio, etc. Now, what you want to do next is you click sign in on the top right here, and a dialog box should pop up. Now, what you want to do is the login information is just like the login information you use for a school computer. So it's your first initial, last name, and your password. Now, I'm going to log in. Press enter. Now it should say welcome OWU. Now there's operating system, developer tools, servers, applications. Now let's just click on operating systems. Now you can see there's an array of different operating systems. There's Windows 8, Windows 7, XP, Vista. And if you want to go old school, there's actually MS DOS. <laughs> That's funny, I didn't even notice that was there. Alright, so let's just say we want to download Windows 8. So you click on Windows 8, and wow, okay, you'll see all these different versions. You'll have the SDK, you'll have the debug check build, and you'll have, you know, the consumer preview with apps. So let's just say we would want to download the consumer preview with apps. You know, 32-bit, 64-bit, depends on depending on your processor. Now, let's just say we want to download the consumer preview with apps. So, right here, you click Quantity 1, Add to Cart. Now, it should show you, a, it should bring you to a screen right here. And it should say free, because, you know, we have a contract through our school. The next thing you want to do is click Check Out. Okay. Now, after you clicking Check Out, there's this license agreement. You know, who reads that? <laughs> anyway, you click Accept. Now, Right now, there show it'll be a last name, first name, email, but they don't really send you anything as long as you put a valid email. And you uncheck this so you don't want to subscribe to receive information about from Microsoft. Anyway, proceed with order. You click that. Now, right now, it should. Okay, so right now it says product key retrieving, right? So it's just going to give you a product key so that when you download and burn this ISO file to a disk, and you install, you can use this key. Now hold on, it's still saying retrieving. I'll give it a minute. Anytime now. Okay, see it showed us key, which I will blur out in the video. Now make sure you copy this key down as you will need it when you install the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Now what you want to do next is click Start Download. And it'll give you a step. So you have to download the Secure Download Manager from Microsoft. Let's download that. Save it. Okay, it's done downloading. Now go to your, your desktop or wherever you save your download. Double click it. Click Run. Let it install. Click Next. I agree. Next. Next. And we'll let it install. Okay, when it's done installing, okay, it's done installing now. So click close. Now go back to the page you were just on. Okay, download the S SDX file, which will later turn into an ISO file after it's done downloading. So let's click download SDX, and it should give you an option to open with Secure Download Manager. So you click OK. And it should open up the Secure Download Manager right now and see. Right now, I should say, okay, size 2 gigabytes. Download ready. So click Start Download. 
All right, well, I tend to have slow internet, 10 megabits down, so it'll probably take me around no oh, 30, 40 minutes to download. So I'll be back with you guys when it's done down, done downloading. Sound like a good deal? All right, be right back. Okay, so I just finished downloading Windows 7. I mean 8. Sorry. <laughs> so right now it should say done, and you have a launch button right here. You click it, and it should open the folder which it downloaded to which is right here it's an ISO file 2.6 gigabytes now you can usually use the Windows built-in software to burn it to a DVD what I like to do is use a software piece of software called image burn and it's spelled I M G B U R N so you can google that go to the website download it I already have it downloaded right now so let's open it up image burn right here I let it load. All right, right here we have all these options. You want to write an image file to disk, and uh, you can also insert. You should just insert a blank DVD at this moment and close it. And after you click that, make sure you know it's the destination is selected as your DVD drive and not a virtual drive. Now you want to click right here, browse for a file, and let's see where we put it. Put it right here. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, let's move it to the desktop make it much simpler for us okay after you move it to the desktop let's look for it in the desktop okay it's right here so double click it now I don't really have a blank DVD so that's why this button right here is grayed out but it should be able to click after you insert a blank DVD now after you insert a blank DVD you should click this button right here it'll write you know, depending on how fast your DVD drive is, usually it'll take five minutes, maybe less. After it's done writing, the tray should open, and there you go. You just bring yourself a Windows 8 DVD. And the product key, which I told you to write down earlier, you should have. Now, you could just restart the computer, boot from the DVD, and you should be good to go. Now, let's summarize what we just did. So, I first, I went to... Google, I type CPPCIS, right? I click on the first link, then I click the MSDNA download, which should bring you to the DreamSpark web, Dream web page. And then you sign in. After you click sign in, your know, dialog box will pop up. Type your username, the, you know, your information that you use to log in on the school computers. Then you go to operating systems, click the one you want. Let's say, you know, click the one we want. Add to cart. Okay, so you go to your account since I already added it to my cart, and it will be right here. So let's click it, and you know this should pop up, and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope you guys have a good day.